I remember when I went to the Vatican, they had a, a lot of history on that sort of thing, and they, they told us about the catacombs in Rome and how back in the early days of the church, uh, St. Peter and, and some of the other popes, they had to secretly celebrate Mass underground in uh, tombs because the, the Roman Empire was, you know, not, not pro-Christianity at that point. So I just thought, I just, when I think about the Pope, I think about the, the, the history and how it connects us to uh, Jesus in a, in a very direct, physical way. I just see the Holy Father as being a hand, you know, he's handpicked from coming down the line from St. Peter, who was handpicked by Jesus, and that's just awesome. The Holy Father brings to mind to me a cornerstone of our faith. As the Vicar of Christ, his presence here on earth just makes the foundation of our faith visible. And I think the earth, the planet, the world, without the presence of a figure like the Pope would be just totally different. I mean, Pope John Paul II, so now recently St. John Paul II. Um, the reason why he's my favorite Pope is really uh, allowing the youth to become a part of the church, um, really getting everyone really excited about their faith. Uh, I really feel like he's kind of blessed my life in way, some way or another. Oh. Um, my favorite pope is probably uh, St. Peter. Um, he's the first pope. He's the one that Jesus uh, entrusted the church to. He called him the rock. He named him that. And he gave Peter all the authority. He passed down his authority to Peter to guide his church that he founded. And St. Peter took it upon himself to go to Rome, and that's when the church was really first established, was in Rome. And that's why the Vatican is there now. And also the fact that Peter was crucified upside down because he didn't believe he should die the same way as Jesus did. I thought that's very humbling, and he's a great witness to our church. My favorite pope is Pope Francis. Um, he is truly just shown what, he's very humble, and he's just shown a true servant of the word. Um, my favorite pope is Pope Francis and because he has a servant heart and he's leading by example and I just really think that he's going to transform the church. Why? My favorite pope is John 23rd, recently a uh, canonized saint. Um, one of the big things about him, he started the second or Vatican II Council. Um, he only had five years, but he did so much in that five years. Um, and you can see it now here today because it's part of the new evangelization. Also, something very significant about John the 23rd is he saved, during his time, uh, during World War II, he saved over 25,000 um, Jews just by giving bap baptism for certificates, which is something very significant. Paul II, because he was the man, he understood truth, especially with love and responsibility. and theology of the body and everything and also Pope Francis because he's fresh he's he's not changing any doctrines but he's changing people's perception of the church Next is John Paul II he tried bringing um, lots of all different aspects of faith together um, not only in the in the Christian faith but as a as kind of a world faith as much as I love Pope Francis I have to say Pope John Paul II, or St. John, John Paul II. I think because um, I was about 10, year old, 10 years old when he was elected, and it's the first pope I remember seeing him being elected and what all that he went through. And I do particularly remember at his funeral mass, seeing all the heads of state next to each other and offer each other the sign of peace. And I remember thinking, would that have been possible before him? where they could do that. So that's why he's one of my favorites. I love our Pope because he is such a role model who speaks to the youth, our teens and young adults. He's a role model that they can relate to, helping them learn to pray, be humble, reach out to those who need help. He is a human that they can relate to.